know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Yeah. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. TYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am fucking high as shit. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Boy, this is this must be, be really bad one, because this is the first time you've openly announced it. You have been high as shit <laughs> when you've done this show on numerous occasions. Yeah. But this, my to my high, knowledge, my is high, the first time. My high opened. right now is like, yo, yo, you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. <laughs> you gotta let them know. <laughs> yo, Inform the people. You can't. We can't keep. You gotta tell them in case something happens. <laughs> oh. oh boy. All right, the let's alibi. See. Let's see how you run this high. Yo, introduce the guest. Let's just get That's it. That's right. Let's do it. This just, gentleman. Let's just get it. This gentleman is making a big name for himself on Instagram, doing the comedy thing, and has been following this show for a long time. I did his podcast. Andre did his podcast. Dante did his podcast. The fantastic Chris Cares None, everybody. Give it up. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. What's up? What's get up? it. Get it. How's it going? What's going on, y'all? What's going on, baby? How you? Man, I feel I'm like out. we just. I feel like this. We were just talking from yesterday yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. It was like crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I'm it's crazy. doing good. It's good man. to see. Um, let me ask you something. about how did you find the show? How did you first get into it? Like, how? What was the origins right. of that? So, I had a. So I lost a bunch of weight, 175 pounds back in the day. Then I right. started to lose a lot of weight. So I think based on just getting a little confidence naturally because I thought I looked better, I was getting a little better with women. I came across right. a girl who was beautiful that, I, that was mine. But then, I, but then she dumped me on Thanksgiving Day, which is, I thought was kind of wow. Damn. Right, right, right. So I'm crushed, blindsided. I'm thinking I'm about to marry this chick. Da, 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 da. She, she couldn't even wait till after you guys went to Red Lobster that's for what, dinner? What, Damn. what the <laughs> fuck? She that's handed the street ax for the turkey and did it. It was nuts. Yeah. It was nuts. So then, uh, so I just remember being, I was really, really, really hurt. I remember being crying, crying. Him, like just, my roommate's like, what's my living on? I mean, sobbing. Just crying like a bitch. Like a straight bitch. <laughs> so anyways, but I vowed to never feel that way again. I'm like, I'm just not going to do it. So then I like went on YouTube and how to get girls, you know, da, 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 da. And then I started getting these like. Uh, that could be very dangerous, by the way, because a lot of people on YouTube giving a lot of frivolous <laughs> Frivolous, right, yeah. dangerous information. So you saw some so frivolous shit. We saw some frivolous shit the other day. Yeah, it's some bullshit, huh? Uh, so, just people that we know, just uh, that I counsel. Oh and boy! Just took oh, no. my shit and, and balled it up like a like a, a old tissue. What was this advice? What was this advice? We don't have to name names, even though I want you to name names. Right? I, I told her she was in an abusive relationship. She was in an abusive relationship. And I told her that unless she was OK with this continuing him knocking up her upside the head, then she has to get out of it. I said, because it's not going to change and it's probably going to get worse. I said, but you have to make a decision based on the trajectory of what's going on. And he was knocking her upside the head first. He started out being verbally abusive and then he went a little further and you choked her and he shook her and then just and like she, and enough I was, with J Lo. Yeah. 
that mm. yo, and then she she learned how to fight, she right? Learned how to do and some she was karate really limba. And fuck that nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> she was that, like, enough. And yeah. then <laughs> But I and and she um she basically you know, I was talking to her about that that she needed to get out. She took that advice and f- because she was in an abusive situation and gave that advice to somebody else who like a dude was just like, yo, I, I really don't like you like that. Like they, mm-hmm. they knocked and he was like, I don't really like you like that. I feel like you like me more and I don't want, want to let you know, you know, that I think it's better. We just call it off because we're not on the same page. And he mm-hmm. which I thought was a respectful thing to do. And she she gave the advice. He's a narcissist. He's oh, a yeah. fuck boy. This is the link I um, sent you. OK, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a fuck boy. He he you you he did you a favor by getting. And I was like, and I'm looking at this chick like yesterday. You was crying. You was crying <laughs> about a nigga that broke your heart that is worthless. This is not the same advice like she, to somebody else. When she yeah. was dating the dude, when she date, when she told me she was dating the dude, I was like, you know that nigga crazy, right? You know that motherfuckers out. Like I, it's, it was always like I, right? Harry was like, yeah, you let it her was know. Like, All right, like, yeah. if you if you gonna, but it, it, nobody you'll was tell like, somebody oh. what it is if they don't want to yeah. follow that advice. That's on them. But you will be like, yeah, that dude is not. <laughs> That dude is yeah, not good, or that straight. chick is like that. She's awful. We look the yeah. other week. We told our friend Corey. We spent the entire episode letting Corey know. You can go back and watch yeah, that, that was, episode. That was uncomfortable. It, it can be, but he. Uh, that was that was uncomfortable. But we needed to she, say that to him because he deserves better. He deserves. Well, you got to give him my option. You got to if you don't make somebody. I, you know, I don't know why people have an, a, such an aversion to truth. Um. I, I just I think it's such a rare thing that I, I it's almost like it's it, it scares people away because it feels powerful. You know, I feel like truth when you know when somebody's speaking from from a truth, from a perspective, you it just has a powerful feeling when that comes off, it, you know, that, that subtext. So. But go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go for it, Chris. You were you were you were heartbroken. You were going on YouTube looking for advice, how to pick up women, how to how to uh, how to be in relationships. And I remember one of the first few things that really stuck with me in the dating world was if you can't look a girl in your eye, like don't even waste your time. Mm. So then I was like and I was always kind of bad at that. Like, I I just didn't feel good. I wasn't comfortable looking in people's eyes. Anyway, so I'm learning. And that's when when I started to implement that in my life and I saw a change. So I started to believe a lot of this stuff. Then a bu- so I started kind of preaching shit online because I was getting better at it. A buddy of mine goes, hey, man, you ever heard of the, the, the Beige Phillips show or the Black Phillips show? I'm like, no. Nah. He goes, remember Preacher Patrice O'Neill? I'm like, yeah. He goes, he got the show with this guy, Dante. And I'm telling you, this is where you trust, bleed is, and it's going to be good. So I'm, I'm like, all right, fuck, give it a shot. Yeah. Binge watch all those twice. Right. One through went back, one through again, and probably like a week. Yeah. I, and I was, I was like, whoa. And I started implementing that shit, right? Yeah. And then yeah, I'm like, damn, yeah. it's over. There's no more show, right? And then somehow, I don't know if I Googled it or something, then the base, I'm like, oh, shit, he's been popping it off for a while. Right, right, right. So then I went on and, and, and did as much. I mean, I literally went oh. back from day one. Really? It was so wow. much value. I was like, I, I was just so. I had some it. echoey. Yeah. I had some echoey mics. My shit was. It felt like I was talking in a in a milk bottle. That shit was the worst. But it but it's sound. Good, but yeah. it's still cool to see because look where you came yeah, yeah. from. To me, it's like all yeah, of yeah. my first video was awful. But yeah, then now yeah. look at it now. It's like, damn, you didn't upgrade it. So to me, it's almost yeah. like you see the progression. That's actually kind of dope. Yeah. What did yeah, what yeah. did you yeah. what were the things you learned from it, Chris? Like that, how did it affect from you? From what specifically? From the show? Yeah, yeah. From our show. Like what were the things damn. you started so, learning that you that you that were new to you? Well, it started more, you know, like it started more obviously with the Black Phillips show and understanding like what what power we give them. And I think I got and then when I started listening to your show, it started to change more into like I felt more like being a better man and almost mm-hmm. stopped 
dealing with women to focus like one one hundred percent on me, and then I swear to God, and it seemed like they came. They just kind of come. Yeah. And because I had already did my research and had a little understanding of what women do with the body language and stuff like that, then I was able to like so when opportunity was there, I was able to capitalize a lot more because right, of right. What I did. Right, right. Hmm. What were the, some of the things that like, uh, all right, so how did you improve yourself? What, what have you changed about your life uh, the, man, since that so, time? So uh, like a weight loss situation. I grew uh, my Instagram following after listening to y'all. Because I, I saw one day, I'm, so I'm getting this whole like be the best version of yourself. So I'm, I'm stuck on that, right? And then I'm trying right. different things on you because I'm going on YouTube you know, how to be a better person, how to be a better man. And then, then you start to get recommended. And I'm just starting to get all these different things. So then I came across no fat. I'm like, okay, did that for a hot minute. And I actually felt some benefits, whether it was in my head or not, I felt benefits. Then I tried, then it turned into like cold showers. I'm like, damn, mm. that sounds crazy. Started taking cold showers, still do now. And then I, mm. it was the self-development. And then it all, and I was already on social media so I just kind of was being myself and just talking about myself. But then I would make a couple of videos because I thought they were funny. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it's blowing up. And now it's a right. clothing brand that's going to be a thing. I just right, sold right. 25 orders of a $70 hoodie today. Yeah. Like a, that's what my point is. And that's all I did was be the best version of myself yeah. because of what I learned yeah. from you. Wow, that's dope. That's dope. I just started telling myself that I'm worthy of being dope. That's un you don't know how uncomfortable that is for me. Like I appreciate it, but that's un like that's a lot of weight. Do you know what I mean? Dope, man, I'm telling you, I, man. I mean it's a that's a lot of weight. You but take that kind it, of admiration in the face. <laughs> like my whole life. Remember, I was gonna come to New York. Remember, I was gonna come to New York. I, yeah, I'm like, I gotta see a show because that it means that much to me. I ain't never did that right. for nobody, you know. Mm. And then I think yeah, I was I talking to Harry that, and Andre and we was like, yeah, yeah, and it was kind of like in the beginning. And then I got yeah, out yeah. there and you told me a time and then they got switched. So what actually happened? You did like what, you switched in times? What do you mean? When, oh, like, the, the, the sets probably got switched. That does happen quite often. So oh, if yeah, you told yeah, you yeah, the time, you might have switched out around. and not no, yeah, and I, and I, I, But I was hurt. I'm like, damn, I came all the way to New York and I missed him. But then I talked to you and then you called me. Right, so was, right. I'm like, oh shit, Dante, and I remember I was about to be late. For, I, I, I was late for work, but I was like, right, fuck right. this, I'm talking to Dante, and you was, and you treated me so cool, and not like a big time. It just, I don't know, and it just made me trust everything else because of how you acted in yeah. that situation. Dante's not big time, but he is forgetful as fuck. Let's be honest. I love Dante. I don't even death. remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. I mean, Case in point. Now I do remember. <laughs> somebody supposed to meet me at the club and me getting switched up and me thinking, oh, dude came all the way out here. At yeah. least let me holler back at him and say, you I remember just that like, because that exact story happened 700 times. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's true. Also, he just told you Wait. the story 30 seconds ago, so that might be why you remember. <laughs> it. All right. If I had to. <laughs> Yeah, but I but, learned a lot, man. I learned you, a lot from y'all show, man. Fuck. But I'm saying, I, you, but I've had situations where that. So it's just, but it, but that's what you're saying too. It's just that's that's innately who I am as a person. It just, it's like you know, I I, I wish sometimes I wasn't like as open sometimes, hmm. because it's like, man, you know, I'm telling you, man, sometimes you want to. Okay, for the people, who, who, for the people who are, are willing to 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 accept that whatever they do and ain't the way like a lot of people say, well, I'm not going to do that. And it's like, well, the way you do it, it ain't working. So let's give yeah. it another shot from a person who seems like he's got it working. Then you get the public. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, Dante and them did it right. And then you start implementing it in your life and you start yeah. seeing results. I, I get yeah. addicted. I'm addicted to that. And then yeah. it, then it turned into not yeah. women. Then it turned into me. So first it was like yeah. how to get more women, how to get more women. But then it was like, no, nah, the real game is how to be the best version of yourself. Start working on your financing. Right. Start working on your body. Start just being the best. Start meditating. Whatever you got to do to improve, do that. And don't even worry about the women and the paradoxes. That's when they fucking come. Yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. like mind blowing to me. I always thought you got to do everything for a woman. <laughs> I, it was crazy. Well, that's what they teach. But the, the thing is, you can't. You 
if you meet a woman in the moment that you meet the woman, how does she know what your value is? She, all she can do is look at you on a face value, but anything else that you have value about or anything mm-hmm. that you are, the essence of you that has value, the only way she knows it if you, is if you tell her. Now, you may not go, oh, I'm a loyal dude, I'm a truthful dude, but truthful dudes act certain ways. And loyal dudes act certain ways, and there's cues that she can read the subtext. But if you don't feel like you are representing who you are, then you're going to represent all the fears of what you're not. And she picks up on that on a base level, and she's like, you there's something wrong with you because you're mm-hmm. telling me and who knows you better than you do. Right. And that's the whole principle. That's the whole where the magnetic part of it happens. It's you're telling you're telling her I ain't shit. The way you slump, the way you the fact that you're afraid to look at her in the eye, the oh. fact that you can't just stand up and address her. Hey, that, that's a big one, do. Dante. The eye contact. Yeah. That's a that's a big one. Yeah. If you can't figure it out, I remember in the very beginning because it was new to me and I was a server at a restaurant. So I, I, I would start to practice on the, the people. And I would yeah. and, and it, sometimes it would be I was mad funny. It, I'm just thinking of you staring at me for mad long. <laughs> I'm trying to no, take man, my order. It, it's like listen, bliss. Eye <laughs> contact with dudes versus women. It's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? I know. Uh, like, right, Andre, and then Andre starts twirling his hair. He was like, <laughs> I have a <laughs> of my bread. Like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Dre? Can I have some more bread? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, where the fuck was we at? Well, you're just talking about changing <laughs> the things that you didn't like about in yourself. The, Indecisiveness. He was in the way in the restaurant. Yeah. Looking at dudes' eyes. Oh, and that's how I learned. Over salad. <laughs> right. But like with girls, though, I would look like a little extra second yeah. longer than it was comfortable. And I would just keep doing yeah. it until it got real comfortable. And then I could see it like back in a lot of them. Like, oh, yeah. shit, he, it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just started implementing these things. And, and, it's wild, and then it all just kind of molded into more and more. And now I'm addicted to just trying to be the best version of myself. And yeah. it started because of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. It's just... My intention. Yeah, man, I'm glad I can help, you know? Hmm. No, you're part of that. I just be out here chick. helping, what the, what man. The back in the day? Son, Mar- you don't even know. <laughs> you so you so magnanimous, yeah. son. Mag magnanimous. What man. was the her magnanimous? Name, what was her name before you, Dre? Or Mara. before me? Mara was her name. Yeah. Mara. Yeah, that's Mara. Mara. Yeah. Mara. Yeah. 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 What what, what was the question about Mara? No, I'm saying that she was also part of it because yeah, mean, she was part she of it. Brought, yeah. She brought Dre in. She brought Dre in. Right, right. She brought Dre in. That's and the best thing she's done. I was done. like, I was like, I was like, what's his qualifications? And she was like, <laughs> that was her answer. <laughs> that was it. She didn't really have much. The giggle. But we kept him around, and he was <laughs> Dre is. Was... Like, oh, right, that's. I guess that's what his qualifications is. <laughs> I was yeah, like, all right. funny. But you know, it's it's but I ended up liking the crazy motherfucker, but I don't know how <laughs> that it is good to help people, man. It's fun to do a show where you could help people. Hell like yeah, it's un- like I'm with Dante though, it is a little uncomfortable when people are like grateful. So I'm very shy about that. Like uh like oh man, the show's Ooh, you so Harry, like yeah. if they yeah. No, because you know it's feel, not the I same as shy at all. No. No, oh. I'd be like, Yes, my son. <laughs> Great, for real. <laughs> Great, for real. You just Turn be like, pulp. Huh? Nah, only, because it, don't nobody. I have. I mean, I've gotten like sincere messages and shit, but I don't. I don't really feel no. I'm like, shit. Thanks for telling me that I helped you out, and then I'm done with that. That's it. Oh, I yeah, nah, but I'm saying. I so you you never time. got it. Like you never got it in the face. Like straight in, in, the face. Like, much in the face. Oh, you saved my life. No one's ever said nothing like that to me because I, I don't be doing that. I've got it out here like uh, in L.A. While I was out in L.A., a couple different people. But one kid in particular was like, it becomes like, oh, my God, you changed my life. I feel so much better. Thanks to the show. You guys really affected yeah. us in a weird. And and you're like, oh, thank you. You do the first thank you. But when it comes to this show, it's weird because if someone just says you're funny, you say thank you. That's it. With this one, and you go, no, thank you, I appreciate it. They go, no, 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 you don't understand. And then you they don't like, understand. <laughs> you don't know. You don't. You don't. 
You don't even know, son. You don't. You but, saved but my y'all life. Understand? No, but you do you understand? That's really how motherfuckers <laughs> feel. Yeah, it's dope. Like the it's way dope. I it's a feel now, get, it's a lot to get smacked in the face with, though. You know what I mean? I know, like, I know. especially when your intention is just comes from a truthful and an honest place. But You're not doing it, it so good. That. And then you just like, man, it is. I, I don't know if Harry has seen me be uncomfortable with that or not. On occasion, you, know, you get uncomfortable. On occasion, how I but. feel today versus how I feel before knowing this real information is right. it's so like I can't believe I lived in that world. Okay, so what were the things you were doing? Like, what were the things you were doing? What were you? How were you fucking up? I wasn't up? honest. Okay, you know, so listen, what? I was. I was a good dude. Like, don't get me wrong. And I'm talking. About, I I have some dreams to be like mega mega. So when I'm, I'm nitpicking myself, I think to average people, I was always more confident. But then when I'm talking about, am I really confident though? Like I'm confident. Do I on the believe outside. it? Yeah. Do, do I, I believe, believe? It? And that's why I got from you is like, do, like no, because you wouldn't be doing this if you did if you really believed it. And I just started yeah. hitting at that nerve, and it's like, mm. damn, you're fucking right. And I got a lot of work to do. Like, I'm, am I being the best version? Not really. You know, yeah. you could be running. You know, you could lose. Come on, man. don't eat that burger, bro. <laughs> Oh, you gotta yeah. put you gotta put a little work in, you know. You get so that it's such a different world. It's just, it's sick. Yeah. So I'm just a more honest person now. As a matter of fact, I'm, I've never been this honest in my life to anybody, including myself. Mm. And it, and with women, so, that's that's like the secret sauce. Yeah, you like brutal yeah. honesty. I let them know, like, yeah. listen, you know, it is what it is. And it didn't be willing to take that L like y'all talk about. I'm like, all right, yeah. hey, I said what I said. And listen, I've lost some opportunities because of that, but I was OK. We all do. It. That's the sacrifice. That's the sacrifice. But it also becomes the payoff. Because if once you once you you ready, once you ready to fight. It's all gravy. Whatever happens, <laughs> happens. You know, but also you you lose. It's not really losing because somebody who doesn't take you for what you are and doesn't like you, you don't really want them around in the first place. You just got rid of them faster than you would have gotten rid of them. Yeah, so if, but you if, don't think that that's the thing. Like, you don't think that at first you, you're well, how, maybe I'm losing something. And that's why you consider it a loss. It's only until you're on the other side of that that you think to yourself, me getting somebody out of my life that couldn't fit in is so much more a benefit than to me to go through the shit that I got to go through to somebody who's just, I, I have to be somebody else and they're going to be abusive in the context of, of me, you know, being somebody else. So... It's a weird thing the way that that it it informs you in one direction because you have a destination. So when you go on, what is the best version of me? Every time you start doing something that doesn't agree with that, it's like a GPS because you got your your head is going recalculating, get back on track. But if you don't have that destination planted, then what what's supposed to keep you in line? What's supposed to what's supposed to get you to the destination? You got to have a destination, you know, and that becomes when you start, the more you define that, the more your movements become more efficient, you know, because, you know, right. You know where you got to end up, you know, another thing that 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 got me was when you said, are you the guy when you use the dustpan and you got that last little bit of oh, yeah. crumbs? Like, are you the guy who gets there? Or are you the guy who sweeps it under the rug or mm. under the under the refrigerator? And I always was like, yeah. So when no one you doing what you're supposed to be doing and yeah. I just started doing more. And, and I ain't going to say I do that all the time, but I've gotten so much better at making those decisions than I yeah. were in the past. I still have moments where I don't do that, but I'm doing that way right. more than I was doing before. And I think the goal is to do those a thousand percent of the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So it's a work yeah. in progress, but God damn, it's uh, <laughs> it's life yeah. changing, life changing. Yeah, I, it's hard. It seems like it feels like it's harder. It's harder to be righteous, but it feels better. You know, it just feels better. I mean, I think, uh, you know, a lot of times you I, I don't know. It was you told me the thing where I screamed at somebody over the shoulder or something like, oh, I was talking to fucking Cypher. 
right? And uh, I was talking, to, you know, I was giving advice about how to talk to girls, talking over the shoulder, um, as opposed to squaring up and talking to them to talking to them directly, which conveys to them that you think they're more important than you. When you lean in, you're talking and you're leaning in to hear you. Your pot, your body posture is less important than her raising her voice. The dynamic that you're already setting yourself up to be abused because you're already starting to take and contort who you are to be with this woman. And I learned and that so, in the pickup artistry world. Yeah, yeah. Like that was like a little tactic, you know. I, I learned yeah, there was yeah. a lot of tactics that work. Yeah, a lot of tactics. Yeah, but, but, but it don't it don't get to, it don't work to it the root. It doesn't get to the you, root. Right. Until you yeah, become you, like you, in you your doing, soul. You doing card tricks. You and when you learn the techniques, the techniques work. But you, but you, you. It's a card trick, dude. You, need to you have ain't that doing real magic. You have to have that belief in yourself. And the confidence to to do all this stuff and to keep it going, because you can, yeah, kind of convince a girl for one night or two nights. But in the long run, are you really that guy? Are you really that dude? And that's the the part where it comes down to you believing who you are. So you that's also goes into taking the L where you go, am I willing to walk away from this because I genuinely believe that I could find someone else or something better? And that's the reason guys get stuck in shit for a long time, because they're afraid to leave because they go. God, I'm lucky to have this in the first place, or I worked so hard to. When I hear to those words, like, it hurts. <laughs> that hits home, like, Chris. Oh. Yeah, because because I because again, I'm coming from a place of you know I would have said that back in the day. Better wife, right. you know, better wife, happy, whatever that shit is. Happy life. Happy life. Happy I don't want to yeah. say that shit no more. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> but but um, when I see a guy saying those kind of things, I'm like, damn. And it's sometimes I'll even say it like in front of his girl and his girl would be like, you know what? He's right. Mm. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Boy. I'm like, see, yeah. so I'm like trying to up. I'm like, this is what she wants, bro. In, in their face. And like, right, right, right. And then she's like, I'm, this is yeah. many times where and the girl was like, see, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so often. Yeah. And that all the time, then all of a sudden she's looking at you sideways now, because why go with the dude that, that you gotta, they gotta learn it. <laughs> and this is the right, dude right. right there. This is the dude. He already got it. And a couple There's of no situations, training. it was touchdown. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, like, well. if you, you know. But I, but that wasn't the intention. The intention was like, bro, I'm telling you. Right. Yeah. Oh, well. What was the mistake you kept making in relationships, Chris? <sighs> Probably the biggest one is not wanting to upset them. And, and, and for what mm. reason, you know, and it's like I it didn't even matter. Yeah, it didn't even matter what it was. Just I don't want you to be upset. Yeah, it's like I was. Now, did you think that that was your failure as a as a man or a failure as a mate? And is that why or was it just that you didn't want you didn't want to lose that if you felt like if I if yeah, they're I didn't upset, lose. then I'm good. And well, what happened was so this was the first girl that got that was decent. And then we uh -huh. were together for four years, right? Uh -huh. And I just wasn't this at the end of the day, I wasn't the same guy who got her that I was at the end. And, uh -huh. and then I just got comfortable. Yeah. Whereas yeah. when I met her, I had all this energy, and then I started just Netflixing and coming home and, mm -hmm. and just Living not with the pandemic already. <laughs> kind of, yeah. And then and then yeah. like I just think at the end of the day, they need to see you with drive for them to be attracted to you long term. Yeah. And I feel like I get more love from women based on the fact that I'm out here hustling to improve myself. And, you know, yeah. that's more sexy than than anything from what I have conceived. Yeah. Like, yeah. it don't even I, matter I what wonder, level you at. Just as long yeah. as you're yeah, busting ass. On the, on the, you, as long as you're on your way up. As long as you're on your way up. I used to tell dudes that all the time. Like, dudes in college said, I don't have no money. I, you know, I don't got no car. I don't got no money. I go, but you, but you got to what are you trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to be a doctor. I was like, dog, just you go look this. I don't have this money. My 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 endeavor is to be a doctor. Uh, I want to be a surgeon. I'm not going to have this money. You want to rock or not? And and that communicates safety because you're being honest. 
and and nine times out of ten, the chick will go, I, I'll rock with you. You know, I, I see you working because she knows the potential is obvious. You know, the potential is obvious. I don't know if they see it in a cognitive way, but it's kind of it's always attraction is always a feeling. It's you know, I always say women don't you know, you know a woman. I'll tell a woman all the time. You don't know what you want. Your pussy does. Mm, it's a I, feeling. I it's in the it's in the soul that you feel that. And then you react to it on that soul. And so even when you have so now you're fighting against your nature because I'm I'm giving you the things that you find attractive on a visceral level. It has yeah, not. I, it's some, it's not even up here sometimes. It's gotten to a point to me that I've gotten at least where I'm at. And tell me what you think it is when I'm having a situation with a woman or like we just meet or something and I can literally like tell her what's going to happen. Like, and I like, I'm saying, this is why, and this is why it's going to happen. And then she's like, mm -hmm. and then it, and it happens. And then it does. Yeah. And then like, I've had girls tell me like, I'm kind of upset at myself because I know what you're saying is true, but I don't want it to be true. Mm. Can you give me an, can you give me an example of what, like a story that went down, Chris? Cause I know what you're saying, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get so it for the listeners. I would, say, I would say something like, um, here, the, the reason why, okay. I would say something like this. I know I'm gonna have sex with you. You know, it's like something right. bold like that. Like I know, I know we're gonna have a good time. Like, however, I say that, and then she might be like, "Oh yeah, really? You know, you think so?" And I say, "Well, first, like, and I would say it with such. Well, first of all, it's guaranteed to happen with like a confidence, right. a cocky confidence. Yeah. And listen, but I'm okay ultimately if it doesn't. But right. I believe right. that it's going to, and just me believing it, and then, and then I, and then I would tell her, "This is the reason why we're gonna do it." It's because I believe in it to my core. I know you're attracted to me and I, and I could tell I'm just willing to tell that it's their face and I'm not scared of whatever her reaction could whatever be. Whatever the result is. Yeah, yeah. So, it, so yeah. if she no, goes, no, no, I'm not scared of the reaction. Pussy. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm, I'm this more is going to be said. This is going right. to be said. Whatever the reaction is, I'm OK with it. Yeah, just not. I'm just I'm not I'm not scared to take the L at all. As a matter yeah. of fact, I've blown shit up more now over the years, over the last two and a half years. When I feel something, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, nah, yeah, like, I don't, it ain't, and don't get me wrong. I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm so, I'm the closest to a hundred percent that I've ever felt in my life. Right. You know? right. And I'm like, I'm like, nah. And then my guys are like, man, maybe chill out. I'm like, so you want me to change who I am for, for what reason? What yeah, do they want like, you to change? What do you mean, Chris? No, just like I'm not. You mean like if you got a girl and she's not into it or, or you have no, to no, no, like if we're at the bar. OK, so I think me and you talked about this, Harry. I I like the girls who really think that they the shit, because to me, I mm. like that battle of mm -hmm. oh, who you think, you, you know, and, I, and I'm willing to come mm. back at you and I'll insult you with the, the flirtatious way. But I'm not scared yeah, yeah. to say, I think you're cute, but what's wrong with your nails? You know, and then they right. Mm -hmm. right. And, I, and the ones that bite the hardest back. What was it? Beating bears and yeah, yeah, and, uh, bears. Yeah, well, I don't even talk what, about that. What no was more. It, Harry? It, was so, it was bears, uh, <laughs> deers, and deer and bunnies. That was yeah. a theory. That was an early on theory that women broke and down. Sometimes to three, pit three bulls. Categories. It's like vowels. <laughs> wow. but, but I know, but it made sense. And I and I like the ones that really think that they know. They really think like, yeah, aggressive. So I like going That's back. That's negging, right? Yeah, I like it. I'm aggressive with it. I know you're, how to, I can play nigger. with the bunnies, but I enjoy the. The fuck right, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a he's a nigger. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, what? I'm doing two things at once. Did I miss something? He's like <laughs> Della Reese. Della Reese in that movie. What was that movie with uh, Richard Pryor? And Harlem uh, Knights. Harlem Knights. He's Woo, like Della Reese. Shit. Oh, so you want to shoot motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, so, Reese. so Chris is not saying like go. He's not purposely going out there like because negging is a method in that. that he is purposely. Artist. The nigga just said, he, well, "I'll go out there and I insult you." But what's wrong with you? No, 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 no. Let he's, me relate. Like, if he's saying it like that, that ain't right. <laughs> First of all, I don't even. I don't even believe in cold approaching no more. I won't do it at all. What's a cold mm. approach? That's just going up to like so a girl sitting there minding her own business and then I go up to say hey how you doing can I buy I don't do that ever and I refuse oh, I'll let, shit. My, friend, I'll let my friends do that 
Okay. Yeah, well, it's like you're approaching the girl pro. cold. She don't know who you are. She did, it's a sales. It's also a sales. I, I thought technique. that was the only oh. way it was done. If you don't have the Instagram well, or some well, shit. No, he means well. If you don't know, like if she doesn't know you. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm saying else. Yeah. if I don't have a girl on like social media, the on the other way is. Oh shit, you cute. Okay, what up? No, yada yada yada. We got yin yang yin yang yin yang yang yang. And yeah, that's it. I, I just I don't listen. I, I that's get, how I got it's most not for me yeah, until I started with Tinder. Tinder and, and Instagram DMs was the times I wasn't mm. cold, <laughs> cold approaching thing, uh, uh, Bumble, especially Bumble's at one, parties. Nah. Oh, nigga, parties. Good time your mouth, when your mouth talks sweet. You know, I don't even know. No, you <laughs> talking Jamaican you just whine her for like three, five songs in a row. And then she just give wow, you her you number. Went. You said once you Jamaican, you yeah, yeah, once you yeah. dance like dance, dog, it's a, it's a, it's a palette. You get you get like three <laughs> songs a, in a Paulette, row. Susan. Mm-hmm. Good time. Clarabelle. Easy. And with the name. But, Easy. Uh, what was I going to say? So, Chris, yeah, that. So you're saying from my understanding of it, though, is that you're saying like you don't go in there with the intention of just negging. But if it's a conversation, no, you, you if a girl you, is you, intense, she thinks she's bad. Then but you got to shut it down. A, She's giving off an energy too. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, because I wouldn't just offer that without you know. I, it would be like, a, yeah. oh, okay. I, I I see there's a choosing signal in this situation, so I'm about to now let's play then. I, I tell uh, girls to behave when they do that. I remember that was the thing I used to do <laughs> when they would give me attitude, and they'd be like, "What you want?" And I'm like, "Oh, just relax, lady. Ain't nobody scared." No, of you. but that's good though. I feel like that. I always be like, "Ain't right. nobody scared." Stop it. And then yeah, she'll giggle usually because girls are tiny and they know I'm not terrified. Yeah. Or, and, and I know just and now it, it just comes to a point when you just I don't even focus on it no more. Yeah, yeah attitude you know, happens. Not nah, just kind of happens, all my, you know, and, and all your buddies like they're kind of still they're not quite where I'm at with it. So they're yeah. willing to sacrifice the, the little bit of their manhood early and they're getting better. But they're more willing yeah. to be like, ah, look, that pussy. I got to get that pussy. You got a light. You got a lot of white friends. You, no. you, there's a difference in their game. Yeah. I feel like there yeah. is. I yeah. think there's a difference. Oh, yeah. no, for sure. For sure. That's not even close. And then matter of fact, a lot of women, white women tell me that. Yeah. What is it, Dre, what do you think more... the difference is? Uh, I, um, I don't even know, dude. It just seems as though like it's it's like it's almost more of a friend joke. to slap friend and slap ha ha he and yeah, then... like you're supposed to you're supposed to lose a bit, you know, like it's lose just built in lose to it lose yeah, like you're just supposed to ah she's out of my league. You're supposed to say that. Oh, oh. I, I don't mean? believe that. You get to a point. Where I don't oh. believe that about any woman on earth. <laughs> right like you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day listen here's what i believe in my heart personally i love kevin kevin hart will smith whoever's killing the, the rock dante y'all but at the end of the day you are human beings like i'm human beings that got their chance on this earth and they're yep. just figuring right. it they figured it the fuck out before you did it's time for you to figure it the fuck out if you want to be up there with the cats so it's either you get on the pot or piss or whatever. I don't know how they say that shit, but get it's like get piss or get on the pot. Get on the pot. Yeah, get on the piss on the pot. It's yeah, it's it's piss. It's, dude, it's keep it's the lights off. Shit it in the pot, yo. It's it's all like over the toilet. Saying, saying, you know, go inside. Get a get on the piss in the cup. I hate when Chris come and shit in the pot. And then get motivated. Niggas be motivated as fuck after shitting in a pan. You feel like taking on the world on the pot and piss. (laughs) Shit on the pot and pissed off. But Dante, we're talking about like not sacrificing your manhood. Like, what does that mean to people who don't fully know it? Well, when you when you so if if you're not I I, what I've I've kind of adjusted it in the way that it's it's you should be comfortable. You Mm. should be in a comfortable place. It shouldn't be there shouldn't be an awkwardness about it it shouldn't be you could you should be in a in a space where you can be yourself where you can feel naturally comfortable not like somebody's trying to 
power strength, you know, like you're worried about what people think and all of these things kind of pull that out. You so you you have a, a it's the a, best state uh, it's the best state of mind to be in is not yeah being yeah. overwhelmed, being not relaxed. Squirrely. Yeah. You know, I mean, you say and on a on a squirrely. on a cognitive level it's like what are your boundaries? What are your boundaries and 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 are you are you crossing those boundaries? You know, those the bound what do you not like? What do you like? Why be in a situation with somebody that you don't like? That they don't like you. Like, why do that? Why continue it, to put it, yourself it, in an uncomfortable position where you could just go, I don't want to do this. I'm out. I don't no want to do what it. It is. doesn't work. It, it's yeah. okay. Let me ask y'all this. That's okay. Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think that ha having experience helps play in that? So, like, like for instance, the, the more pussy you've had, the easier it is to get there. Can you learn that without like being a, can a virgin learn that lesson to like to truly know I think your that there's dudes not that they learn that lesson, but they kind of are there. Like, I think there's dudes that like I was a I was a cornball, but I was doing those things like I, I, I don't know if I told the, the my first threesome. Right. I was like 18 years old. And I didn't even know these chicks dug me. And I went to uh, and and the day before I had my I, I, I was with the gir this girl. I broke up with my girlfriend and they were trying to get me to take my shirt off the day before. And I wouldn't do it the day before because I was with my chick. And I was like, I'm not I, this. How do I explain this, you know, to my like, why my are you why are you taking your yeah. shirt? Yeah. So, um. Uh, the next I broke up with her the next day and then bong, I um, I ran up there. I got drunk and shit and I ran up there and I ripped off my shirt and, they, you know, we were like wrestling and, you know, whatever, whatever. Bong and we all ended up in the bed, whatever. But here's what I did the next day. The next day I was trying to call them to tell them that I thought that they didn't have to worry that I would never tell anybody. I mean, they didn't know that I would be telling the story right now on <laughs> in front of thousands of viewers. But I, I <laughs> but at the time but it was true, I, right? But at the time I said you, you didn't know podcast didn't exist anybody. then, Dante. How were you? You had no idea, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? How, who knew? This was who the late sixties. It was a was wild time. <laughs> Plus, them bitches is fifty already. Anyway, <laughs> they couldn't oh, even find a podcast 50. to find out about it. They don't <laughs> got no podcast unless you unless. Unless we end up on AM radio, they're never going to hear about this. For real. Them, them bitches, them bitches is slip, they sleeping in a slip. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know, yeah. a slip you wear underneath the dress. Like hey, what did that do? Thing. What was it? It, it was slippery. The, so it, it's slippery. So that it, you don't. It doesn't For real, like it was slippery? Static. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like silk. It's like silk. It's like smooth. Harry, you know. It, it's satin. It's yeah, like it's like satin, a satin so it, silk or a so silk thing. So the dress thing. slides off. Bum bum bum. So you well, Harry knows all about that stuff. You know, like yeah, you're uh, you're pretty extensive in the uh, <laughs> the wearables and all that good stuff. Huh? Well, listen, I mean, you got to You got like, it look like a house right. coat. Uh, that's but another old satin. term that Andre's gonna go. What is a house coat? In all fairness, you a house coat a house is not a very is, modern sir. term. The house true. coat feel like you know uh, your sweater. You okay, like I'm being smock. informed. It's like my source, smock. my source, my female source, <laughs> by, by which I mean my girl is saying a slip is so that the dress isn't see through. That's there the it other is. Thing. There you go. Oh, there you okay. go. There you go. She's uh, nodding her head as we, as we so as we do they, wear, do they still do they still wear slips? Ask her, do they still wear slips? No do they way. Still wear slips, no maybe? way. No, no, there's no nobody wears slips. What were those things right here? What were those things they would put ass naked? Shoulder pads. They still wear yeah, shoulder, shoulder pads. They do that. not. No, that was an 80s. Thing. No, they it's don't not, watch. That wasn't for practicality. No, women don't <laughs> nah, wear they... shoulder pads. <laughs> I would love a bitch with some sharp shoulders now. That'd be funny. <laughs> no, I, I had a shoulder pad suit, a shoulder <laughs> pad <laughs> joint came in tight in the middle, like Ralph Tresvant. And the... <laughs> you was out here looking like Johnny Bravo, nigga. <laughs> like Bobby Brown. 
<laughs> Bobby Brown always had this. The, this shoulder that was pads. like Andrew Dice Clay jackets. And oh, Bobby Brown, no. Andrew Dice Clay, Hammer had them a little bit. Arsenio oh, Hall. Like Arsenio him. Hall used to have those big Arsenio ass. Arsenio had a suit. He had the suit. Shoulder pads so belong in the NFL only. That's it. Sure. It was a rough look, man. I don't know why they, they loved it, it, though. They loved I mean, it's it, all over I don't the know place. why somebody was like, yo, I need everybody to have sharper shoulders. <laughs> Big ass <laughs> why, shoulders. Why is I, it you know the what I need? I need, a, I need sharper chick. shoulders. <laughs> I need a chick with big ass shoulders. And we <laughs> all know. What going know, on? We what all know how that day? turned out. Look how hey, that turned out. Sharp shoulders, pointy ass titties, and long backs. I don't know what was they had longer like vertebrae. 30s, 30s, 1930s titties was pointy, sharp, like boop, boop. <laughs> Tomb Raider sharp. You remember Tomb Raider? The yeah, early yeah, joint yeah. when she like, had like the PS, fucking PS1. Woo! Yeah, like oh, a spaceship, like a five spaceship with the chick <laughs> with the pointy titties. Damn, they been then they got a little bit like. The tassels like it was Based. round now, but it's just, just naked. Yeah, just paint. Yeah, ain't even yeah, paint. Yeah, now. It's just titties out. I, I'm glad that we don't go back. <laughs> we don't go back from yoga pants. That was a great uh, evolution, I think. That was stayed. Like that was stayed too, didn't it? Yeah, it stuck Man. around. How it's, long has that been? How long has that been around? It's, yoga, like, it's pants? Like yoga pants. I mean, like for the everyday around. wear. I feel like, like that's when did that, that start? I mean, they, every, everything is now? tights now. Tights and yoga, mad pants, leggings but. and tights. Like my ain't wearing jeans like that no more. I mean, right now <clears throat> it's the pandemic, so it's not a we denim don't know time. How this is gonna... You know what <laughs> I mean? Not a, it's not a what time. What is a denim, denim time, Andre? Hey, did y'all denim get is when niggas can start giving <laughs> that? Wait, what? Oh, no. Did y'all that? gain any weight in the beginning of the pandemic? <laughs> I actually lost some weight because I had started working out. Ironically, right as the pandemic hit, <laughs> like right as all the gyms were shut down, I just started lifting weights and stuff. And then yeah, I my don't know. abs got better. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I ain't never seen an ab in my life. I, I got one about the ab, same. one big ab. I gained like twenty five pounds. I was drinking every night. I was drinking five old fashions a night. Just shit. That's the thing. Drinking will <laughs> fuck you up. Especially As them old fashions. Dre, Andre Dre says that he's right? coughing drinking. from from sucking on an air balloon of pot that he just has. Andre, you don't drink, <laughs> right? Mm-mm. I Fuck stopped that. drinking too because of this journey of mine. Oh yeah, yeah. you don't drink at all, or you? It's eight you months. I haven't had a drink in eight months. Not one. You feel better? One. How'd you feel, man? Did you why did you put them down a lot? I put him down, but the reason why I had to put it down was not because I was doing it too much. It was because I was work. I was I was using that as a tool to be okay being me. So I would go out oh, to okay. a situation. Yeah, you're trying to medic, me, medicate. You yeah, know, it was, like, it was a band aid, but the, but I never let the wound heal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I yeah. realized I, I'm like, you know what? No, let's let's figure this out because that's the one thing that you know you ain't being authentic. Cause you yeah, need yeah. that to talk to her. You need that to like on, on a podcast courage. in the beginning of the pot, that liquid yeah. courage. When I first started doing yeah. my podcast wasted out of my mind, like, like it's something. Hold on, hold on. Let's let, let's shut this down and we're going to go behind the paywall in, in a little bit. But first I want to go on the plugs. Patreon. So people know where to find us. Patreon.com slash man school tour two. We're going to keep this show going. And uh, um, yeah. with Chris, do Karsman, plugs, bro. Chris, huh? Do, Do your plugs. plugs. Oh, uh, so you can find me at everything at Chris Cares None. And um, my uh, website will be caresnone.com. It's about two days from being ready. You can find and, everything uh, Chris cool. Cares And none. you also do a podcast that uh, we, the three yeah, of us the, have been oh, on yeah, separately. Right. The Cares None Be Dope podcast. That's probably my favorite thing to do on the planet. Um, yeah. Now that I got this clothing brand, so I, that's kind of, and that's the one giving me a lot of money right now. So, right. but I really and, love the podcast. And Chris, this is where you grow. You know? Comedy on yeah. on Instagram, like he does these comedy little shorts sketches, and things. Yeah, just a little, yeah. just a little something. A couple people think they're funny. I'm trying to. I was in the beginning. I was really trying to learn like what a joke is and and how like what it means. Is reading books or trying to read books. Mm-hmm. And I started to understand the, the just switching it and bringing them one way. And you know, and I was trying to like. Yeah. But then you see other guys doing what I do on it, and like, oh, y'all don't even understand at all what's going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not that Let's I'm great at it. Plug it, plug it, and we're gonna go behind. Take get this good stuff behind the pool. Um, 
Chris oh. cares none. Uh, Dre, let me hear you. Yep. Uh, Andre D. Thompson dot com. Uh, Sludge Theory podcast. Uh, Pepe Le Pew was a great cartoon. All right, whatever that was. Uh, <laughs> that was I, at first, I thought it was Jamaican. Then I thought it was Haitian. <laughs> then I realized it was supposed to be French. Uh, but either way, definitely check out Andre's stuff. Uh, my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. Uh, go to my YouTube page at Harry Turjanian. All of it. Uh, but more importantly, check out the uh, Man School Two Two Instagram, uh, Man School Two Two on Patreon, and also we're on TikTok as well. So come and join the fun. Uh, Andre's on TikTok too. He's doing a bunch of funny shit. I have my stuff on TikTok. We're waiting on Dante. He'll get there. But definitely I'll check out Man School um, on TikTok. <laughs> Y'all me Dante Nero.com, you know you listen to the podcast, everything Dante Nero. Um one on one consultations, Donna, Dante Nero.com, click on consult. Uh GYBB get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual revolution being podcasted. I am out. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero. Hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.